Alright guys, this is Game Luke here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Vault White Egg Lock. In the previous episode, we managed to defeat the Lock Killer, Clay himself. It was amazing, we managed to beat him. Luckily, we had Milano, because basically that Vaporeon swept the whole gym. We put an air balloon on it to basically avoid any ground attacks, and it, and it worked. It, it played out, and we managed to defeat the, um... So say lock killer, we managed to we managed to get through and it was it was awesome. So in between episodes, obviously I did say I was gonna I was gonna grind, but before I go into that, if you guys can go ahead and cut that like button down below, see if we can get 1,000 likes for the uh for the new episode of the Vault White. I do appreciate your support on the channel. Honestly, it means it means a hell of a lot. It means more than you even realize. So thank you so much, guys. And I was just running through the team real quick. So the only Pokemon I didn't grind up was this Rhyhorn. And the only reason I didn't do that was because he evolves next level. So we have this Adam and guy, nothing's changed with him. We have Ducks level 45, nothing's changed with him either. We also have Hammer level 45, nothing really changed in your moveset. And I was actually meant to change your ability back to Iron Fist, which I'll make sure to do in between episodes. We then have Lord Zito, of course. Milano and 8-Bit G, the Scizor, who learned x Scissor, which is always good. Now, now we have a, a stab move that doesn't miss, because Still Wing does have the chance to miss. And x Scissor stronger, apparently. So that's our team right now, and I'm very, very happy with it. we got some nice balance across the team, too. Um, we've got people that cover each other's backs in terms of type effectiveness. The only thing that I've noticed is that mainly we're mainly physical. The only special attack we have is Milano, so... Like, I mean, I maybe cause a problem, but the typing is pretty much on, on fleek right now. Now, I'm not even sure where I'm going to go from here. Um, I'm going to go to Charge, Charge Stone Cave, right? Because um, Clay wanted to meet me outside. Oh, hi, Luke. Wait, hold on. What do you want? Hey, were you at the gym just now? Oh, hey, that's Drift Phil's gym badge. Oh, that's totally cool. That's amazing. Exclamation point. No, no, no. I can't get distracted by being all impressed by your shiny new badge. I'm also a trainer. I tell you that you battle, right? Nah, okay. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Let's, Bianca, let, let's, let, let's, let's face off in a, in a in a duel. It's time to do 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 Okay, so I'm gonna switch my ass out of here because Colossus ain't gonna wanna fight a, um, a Mian Fu. I'm gonna switch into ducks though because we will resist any attacks. Holy, because we are flying fighting. So hit me. Oh, you're gonna U-turn, you sneaky little shit. I see you with those sneaky plays, Bianca. I see you with those sneaky plays. You're gonna bring up a Shana? A psychic type against me? You know what? I have something for your psychic type. I have your boy Scissor. Wait, hold on. Yeah. Skizza! Skizza! A bit G that Skizza. Yeah, that's right, psychic me. Eat it up. Eat it up. Yum. Yum 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 I don't wanna egg scissor you to the next dimension. Wow. That's gonna easily kill. Easy, I don't care what you're saying. Sizzle is a beast. I wanna get um I wanna get boat bikes. I feel like he's technician. We didn't get any experience from that. Simi Seer. I already know your boy Colossus is gonna come through for this. Simi is a fire one, right? It's fire PK! It's fire PK! Fire PK! You start I don't freaking know. Okay. I'm gonna bulldoze you. Flame burst. Yeah. I did that did more than it should have. To be honest. That did more than it should have. Can we kill? Thank you. Critical hit. Give me that experience. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Uh next is Nianfu again. So who was I going into? Who was I in? I was in uh ducks. I got into ducks, we can area lace this thing. I'm gonna slap you with my leak, Bianca. You ain't want this work. Uh. Wrecked. Farfetch doesn't mess about. Farfetch does not mess about. I love him so much. Yo, we need 387 experience for that. Persian. I'm gonna bring out Colossus again. I know it can learn. Actually, I don't know if I should do that because I know I know Persian can learn moves like Water Pulse and stuff, but I really wanna get this. I really wanna get this evolution in this episode. I really do. I really wanna get this boy to evolve. In this episode, we need a tiny, eeny, weeny, leeny, be tiny, weeny bit of experience. So if I go ahead and heal him up, what are you gonna go for? Power gems. So you do have a special move. Okay, so that's the only one using this. So I'm gonna go for a rock blast. You're gonna taunt me. I'm gonna see if I can hit this. And then I'm gonna go for a crunch to finish you off. Power gem me all you like. Can we get the level up? 
Yes! Alright, cool. We're gonna have a right period. 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 Right I'm gonna bring out ducks. I'm gonna bring out ducks. Yeah, so basically, we have the protector, and I'm pretty sure in this game you just use the protector to evolve it, like as if it was like a stone. So as soon as we get Rhydon, we can use the protector and evolve him. And evolve him. And evolve him. And evolve him. Evolve him. Catch this. I know you're fighting type in this game. Get out of here. What the hell? That did nothing. I hope we don't have like Ice Beam or some shit. Slash. Slash. You know, I'm gonna use Leaf Blade instead. Can we get a crit? We play for the crits. We have all the high crit ratios. Can we get it? No. No, we can't. No, no, we can't. Why did we not get the crit? Now you're going to Hyper Potion like a bitch. But then we get the critical hit on the Aerial Ace. Yes. <laughs> right. Oh, I lost. I was, yeah, he did. And look who we have on our team right now. We have a Rhyhorn. Evolving! Let me write this down. Let me write this down. I spelled Rhydon, is it? Yeah. So are we gonna get Rhyperia now? Yeah. Yo, that cry resonates with me because I know Miss Signo has the same cry as Rhydon. I almost got Hammer Arm. Boy! 100 damage, fighting type move. I'm like Pamela Pass, I like Curse. Honestly, like, I, I love Curse. Curse, I, I don't want to change any moves, I don't want to change any moves. I haven't had a Pokemon battle with you in a while, Luke. You've become totally strong, huh? Well, I'm not that strong, but I, so I don't know how to say it, but I think you're, you're way tuned into how your Pokemon feel. Oh, you know what? I want to share this, this candy with you. A Rage Candy Bar. We need me some kind of rare candy, but never mind. My papa gave it to me after he tried to take me home that time. It's tasty, but I've heard it might have some use at the desert resort. Oh, hey, I have to share this with Sharon, too. See you later, Luke. In the desert resort. I mean, I don't know anything about that, but thanks for the information. Um, what we're we gonna do real quick? Boy, let's go. We now have a right period. Look at this stat increase real quick. Look at this stat increase increase real quick. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Colossus the right period, yeah. Also then hammer arm again. No, thank you. So, let me just have a quick look at your stats. Your statistics. Yo, that attack. Holy crap! Look at that attack stat, my word. He has solid rock too. Oh my, did you see that? That attack stat was like 178. What's Milano's special attack? It matches Milano. Oh my jeeb. That's incredible. I'm very, very happy with that. We are a monster in our team. I just gotta be careful not to lose him. We do have solid rot though, so we resist. We resist like ground type. No, oh, special super effective attacks. I mean, which is great. To be honest with you, I'm gonna beat you up. I'm gonna beat you up. I wanna test out my. You know what? Even though you're a freaking swords bug, I'm gonna. No, I'm not. I'm gonna rescue it. I'm not rescue Oh, it's level 46! Ah, catch his rumblers! Boom, boom, boom. Because Solid Rock coming through! Oh my god, I must attack again. That would have screwed us up. Solid Rock is a beast! You guys thought we were gonna lose him for a second then, didn't you? Yeah, same. Don't worry. You're not the only ones. I thought we were gonna lose him as well. So just, just even though we do have solid rock, that Pokemon was like how many levels lower than us? It was like eight, yeah, six levels lower than us. So we need to be careful, even though. Stantler, what's up, my my boy? I crunch you. I'm gonna kill you. Don't die. Intimidate me, cool. And then we're gonna great will you. I need to get some Pokeballs actually. No, I really need some Pokeballs. Can we put some? Can we put him to sleep with uh, Milano. Milano. Yo, don't, don't take down, you're gonna kill yourself. Stop. No, stop! I'm gonna switch into you so you don't take as much damage. Alright, go to sleep. Good. Good. Good! Get the Pokeball. Click! Uh, we'll understand the... Should we go hatch an egg? We haven't hatched an egg in like an episode, so... No, I can't... I don't think I can run away with um, with Rhyperia because I know how 
freaking fat he is. Let's try and run away. Let's see what happens. Oh, we got away. Okay, cool. All right, so let's go back to the city. The city. The, the, the city. And heal up. And of course, I like to hatch the eggs now and now, right, right now, so I don't forget. I want to get as much of these eggs hatched as possibly. And we just caught, who was it? It was the Stantler. Level 31 Stantler. This box. I'm going to go right here. Um, and what is this? This is Bombarda with choice specs. That's a nice item to have. Let me just sub out you real quick. It's Bombarda. Remember that. Bombarda. 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 Hatch, 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 hatch. And here's a... Oh, it's a Squirtle! We have a replacement for Vaporeon if we ever need it. Squirtle. I'm so upset we can't use this because I love Squirtle. Squirtle, Squirtle! So that is a shame. But we do have... Um, it's, it's power in the PC, as Nappy would say. It's power in the PC. Um, I'm going to go ahead. We need to actually get to evolve you to a War Turtle too. Um, let me take your item off you. And what's your, what moves have you got? Modest Nature, Torrent, Fake Out, Miracle, Muddy Water, and Yawn. That's some fire right there. That's some fire, I'm telling you. So where's my red candies? Where are my red candies, boy? Alright, so it's level 31. Level up, level up, level up. We need to level you up. What more you have money water? Never mind. Give up. No withdraw. So we level water, get level 14. No level 13. Uh, give up. And then we're gonna fall into water tool. I nah. Do 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 do. Hey, look at water. So water looks swaggy as hell. So he's level 31, so let's get him to level 31 quickly. Rapid spin, no thank you. Four. No protect. Is X, 27, 28. Water pulse tells you. Muddy water's not accurate enough, to be honest. 30 and 31. So we do have a water turtle now, which is always good. Like I said, water turtle is a great Pokemon to have in the PC. As backup, I guess you could say so. That's always where I'm happy with that. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna go ahead and buy some Pokeballs too, because honestly, I'm running out. I'm about Ultra Balls now too. Okay, got 20 of those. That should tide us over because we're not very often catching Pokemon and stuff, so that's fine. Do, 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 do. Let's run this way. And do we have potions? Not potions, repels. The sort. Boing. Repel, 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 repel. I don't have any repels. Okay, fine, it's fine. We'll just have to dodge and weave through the grass like this. Look at that. Who needs repels, am I right? Alright, let's go. Running around at the speed of sound. Dodging trainers left and right because I want to go far. I'll only battle trainers if I really need to. I'm going to bring out a Magneton. He's probably going to fire a flash cannon at me. I'm scared of flash cannons. You increased your physical attack for some reason. I thought you would have sturdy, but it turns out you don't so come out right, period. Bulldoze him and switch out again. I don't particularly want to get scolded by a Politoed. Catch this leaf blade. I'm done here. I'm done. <laughs> uh, we found DM53 for energy ball. Who can learn energy ball? I don't have any special attackers, so no one can really learn that, but it's whatever. What's up, Fennel? Oh, wait, you're not Fennel, you're just some random person. All these Pokemon super fed against me, man. Egg speed on a Gastrodon, you are not. Not right. That ain't right. That ain't right. That's not gonna do anything for you, I'm afraid. Nine Tails! That's a job for Kalolos. Kalol -lo 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 I just bulldoze, bro. Get out of here. Aw, oh, what's in this house? Researching the year's seasons, the season research lab does what it says in the tin, I suppose. What's up, dude? Some Pokemon change their appearance depending on the season. Could that also be considered a type of evolution? 
Theory. We research take changes in the nature that occur due to the seasons. Consider a Pokemon called Deerling, which lives in this forest. The appearance is said to change according to the season. This characteristic is great as a great of great interest to us. We want to research this Pokemon and observe its seasonal changes. That's why we've developed a marvelous climate control system that transcends the seasons and allows us to freely adjust temperature and humidity. Up to this point, everything has been fine. But we are very busy. We haven't to ha really had the chance to catch many. Di oh no, I'm not catching one for you. No, 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 no. Go do it yourself. There's four of you, and you're. There's grass right here. It doesn't take long to, to find a dealing, to be honest with you. There's a Stantler here. I mean, dealing is pretty common too, man. I'm not going to get these Pokeballs because I know they're all freaking Fungus. Screw Fungus. I'm just avoiding all these trainers. So I want to get to this place. Charge Stone Cave. Thanks for waiting. You're welcome. Question point. Looks like the, the nest of the electric trap Pokemon called Galvantula. Don't know why there's a nest here, but if there are folks having problems, the gym leader's the one to fix it. Crocorock, take it. Wait, I didn't see it. You didn't have a Crocorock earlier. Hey. And this TM's yours. It's my favorite TM, so you can teach it to all your Pokemon. Bulldoze is cool, but I would prefer Earthquake, honestly. It's called Bulldogs. This move does damage to loads the speed of any Pokemon it hits. Some ground out Pokemon move a little slower than you'd like. If you use Bulldogs right, you can cover that weakness. I don't know how good you really are, but if you think you can go, go wherever. And if you think you can do something, keep doing it. Do things how you want. Decide your own limits. So that's some inspirational stuff. Some good YouTube talk right there, actually, to be honest with you. Bear that in mind if you were starting up a YouTube channel, because I definitely will. Alright, so let's go into this cave. Luckily, there's going to be a load of... Oh, fuck. What have I got myself into? Come. My lord, and we brought the one you wanted. Ah, yes. That was the Shadow Triad just now. Getis enlisted them in Team Plasma. Apparently, they were the ones who prepared the Galvantula nest at the cave entrance. Chargestone Cave, I like this place. Formula has expressed electricity and its connection to Pokemon. If people did not exist, this would be an ideal place. You have been chosen, you know? Does it surprise you that I said that? Nah. Huh. If you don't understand what that means, it's not like to surprise you. I told Getsus about you and your friends. After I did, he apparently used the Shadow Tribe to find out about you. Sharon is pursuing the ideal of strength. Poor Bianca is faced with the sad truth that not everyone can become stronger. And you are not swayed either way. Or from neutral presence. Which is apparently a good thing. Team Plasma will be waiting for you ahead. Getsus wants to see what kind of Pokemon trainer you really are. Okay, Anne. Sure thing, dude. What? Whatever, man. Big ups, bro. Alright, anyways. Hey! So that Bianca. Yep, it's Bianca. <sighs> Look, did you know this? The flowing stones move when you touch them. Right, Professor? Oh god, what are you doing here as well, you stupid? Hi, Professor Juniper. Hi there, Luke. How are you? I'm, I'm great, thanks. I'm it was better earlier, but this place is always charged with lots of electricity like Pokemon like. The electric charges react from one stone to another, and that's why some of the stones are floating. But not all of the stones can be pushed. My father asked me to research Clink, which is a Pokemon that looks like a gear, because I'm researching the origins of Pokemon and the year they appeared. He knows that he knows how to get what he wants from, pe from people, but I would be interested in, in this anyway, so it's a lot of fun. Oh yeah, look, this is for you. What? Did she give his lucky eggs? Giving that lucky egg to a Pokemon to hold increases the amount of experience points received in a battle by a lot. Having strong Pokemon will uh, make it easier to fill your Pokedex pages. How much did she give us? We have eight lucky eggs. And you can have a lucky egg. 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 Wait. You can have a lucky wait. And you can have a lucky egg. So has everyone got lucky eggs now? We're we gonna gain mad experience. What the hell? How did you get? What the heck? Give lucky egg. Yeah, switch the two items. You can have a lucky egg. There we go. Everyone has a lucky. Wait, was that a star? Oh, it's just the, um, the thingy. Alright, so let's push this block this way. And we're gonna head through here. I do need to get po um, potions repels. I wish I had repels, to be honest with you. I wish I had repels. I wish I had repels. I wish I had repels, but I didn't bring repels. Alright, so in a, in a place like this, how perfect. 
What's this over here? What's this item? I want this item. Yes, I, yes, I do. I want this item. There's clink right here, too. Uh, am I meant to go this way? Oh, crap. I wasn't meant to go that way, was I? Oh, I just walked in front of a train accidentally. But if you have electric types, that's fine. Clang, you're a steel type, right? So if I bulldoze you. X type, get out of here. Boom. Gained a boosted. Gained boosted experience because we are an MVP. MVP of sorts. Pharisee, what the hell are you doing in here? It's like an electric place and you're just. Dodging! Except there's. Look at Leron's face. Ah, 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 ah. What the heck? What to heck? I thought I, I thought I'd dodge you, and this is an axe you. Bulldoze! Dead. Dragon air! Bulldoze! Dead. This thing is a beast! Oh my lord. How do I move this block? Is it push forward? Yeah! Yeah! Wild encounters everywhere! Wild encounters everywhere! You know what? I think I'm actually gonna end this episode off here, because um, we've seen N. We managed to get to Charlestone Cave, and it's been 20 minutes, like I said, at previous episodes. I do want to keep this episode kind of short and sweet right now. So in the next episode, we'll be going towards the end of the Charlestone Cave and trying to get our ass asses out of here, because uh, it's kind of spooky in here, and I want to know what ends up to, so I think he wants to battle me as soon as we leave. So if you guys uh, ex have enjoyed this episode, please do go ahead and leave a like button, a little like button down below, and don't forget to answer the question of the video, which is just above my head. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of the White Egglock. See you guys then.